Hi, Price Action Analyst here. Welcome to my YouTube channel. This is Chainlink. L-I-N-K is the code. Um, I'm just doing a video on Chainlink because I think it's about to make another leg up. So for people that are new to this, I kind of had Chainlink do a first leg and then it had a very big push. Uh, the second leg went from about triple zero six to zero zero one six so two and a bit times so since then um uh it's kind of washed or created resistance up here and come back through support uh and tested this next level of support um I use the hourly bars to frame this up. As you can see, there's no, these are all time highs for chain link. So there's no um, historical values to base it on. So I go down to the hourly bars and, and frame up support and resistance there. Um, so you can see that as it's come into support and, you know, there's air on the daily here and support uh, prices, wash support, and then pushed back up with this substantial buying bar. And so, um, you know, the reason this caught my eye is because you've had this slight retrace, slight meaning these bars are smaller than this buying bar. Uh, and again, a rejection here with this wick and then another relatively substantial push up. And then if we go into the hourly, we'll actually see it's bro breaking out of this consolidation pattern. And so, um, you know, here is the ideal, um, uh, more ballsy way, if that's a technical term, that you know that's a harder position to take when this bar is red. You know, it looks like it's going to push down, but that's kind of the ideal place to start looking to get long, and that that's the beginning of where this push happens. Um, but you know, it's a little later here, but the fact that this buying bar is painted in um, gives you more con confidence that this is actually the start of the next leg. So if we go down to the hourly that consolidation pattern, you can frame it up. Um, and you can see that was the wash of support. It was a big push off of that. And as you know, that's probably the last of the air there. Prices come in and kind of wash that and then pushed off out of that. And so there's another push there with air. Um, so there, there's there's no air down here. There's air there, and so you've had you know a wash of that and a push up. Um, again, that air is going to help you on the retrace um, identify the area that you want to get long. So you might have had a buy order there. Um, so price is now pushed up, uh, and there's more air there, and now it's testing this. You know, it's it's testing this consolidation pattern while it makes a fish hook. Uh, pattern and that's pushing out of here. So this is very likely to um, continue to move up. Um, so worst case scenario, I think it might retrace here and retest this error. So if you were worried about getting an exact entry, you would wait and see, you know, if price starts to come down here, watch it and uh, you can either go long here, like like you would have here, you can just go long here. Or you can wait for price to come back here and wait for you know a buying bar to paint in and then get long. Um, but it may not retrace. It might you know might just push out of here. Um, also, you know this is a convincing wash of support. This is a retest of support, and so now I expect price to cycle up to resistance. And so in order to do that, it has to break out of here. So my um, premise is is up. Um, so just going back to the daily, uh, so, you know, my premise, my short term premise is up, but I think if this pushes up, it will test this previous high here. You'll get some weakness at this pocket of air here. But given the context of this push up, my premise is for it to come up to this um, level of resistance, and I think it will test that high. 
Um, longer term, that is the projected move. So if we assume that this is the breakout and we apply that here, uh, so the price is currently at 0013 Bitcoin. Um, this projected move takes us up to 00, call it 0023. Um, so that's longer term. Um, but I've been, you know, been surprised. Some coins have made the projected moves fairly quickly. So um, it has been a reliable tool often. So don't, you know, don't just dismiss that. But you know, this the you know this bet from here to here is from where it is now to that previous high. I think that's you know very likely. Um, so uh, just to sum up. You know I, that that was a buy recommendation to subscribers today you can either hit that here or wait for a retrace into the ideal zone which is between these green lines um, there's air at the yellow line so it's probably not going to go past that much if it does retrace um, and if it doesn't retrace expect it to just push out of here and again be careful because those breaks can be um, they tend to be um, violent um, you know they tend to be quick and long and so if tomorrow there's a buying bar up here it's you know almost too late to get involved in that um so anyways thanks for watching please like the video please subscribe to the channel if you haven't already and i'll see you in the next one thank you